Hi! So today we're going to be looking at some double-ended markers that I managed to find at a place called Five Below. Now, Five Below is kind of like a dollar store model, but it does like, I guess, stuff as low as five bucks, stuff as low as a dollar, stuff as high as ten, and they have like clothes and other stuff. I guess it's more of an East Coast thing. Well, they've come to the West Coast. So I was able to pop on over there and I found the last pack of these right here. I just say alcohol, ink markers, assorted colors, and they were five bucks. So you notice they look a lot like the Prismacolor markers. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna test these guys out and uh, see how we like them. There are 12 total colors in this package. They come with a chisel tip and a bullet tip. Very, very similar to the Prisma colors, including the way they are packaged. And when you put the two colors that are similar next to each other, it's pretty close. Again, the chisel tips are pretty close to the same and same with the bullet nib with the Prisma color being a little bit smaller. The other thing that's different is that the Prisma colors have a thing that keeps them from rolling off the table. These don't have that. So once they roll, they keep on going. There's one other thing to note about these markers. These don't come with a color number or a color name. I mean, who thought that was a good idea? Nothing, not a single label. Obviously I did not label my swatches because I couldn't, because there wasn't an official name for them. So rather than guessing, I just went ahead and swatched the best I could. And I also tested out how the blending would go with these. Before I actually did an illustration, I wanted to see how they worked together. Most of them did not match the color that was on the barrel. So the color is laid down really nicely, nice and smooth. Uh, there, there's some of them that are really vibrant too, like this purple, the pink. Um, I was really surprised with the cheap markers and honestly, it really did feel like a Prismacolor marker. And as far as like the, the color or just matching the swatches, it's a little so-so, it's a little bit off. Like this is the purple that's, yeah, I guess it's kind of close, but it really just depends what you're going for. As far as like blending, uh, it depends again. Um, I thought these would be close because it was supposed to be this one and one of these orangey ones, I think. And it, as you can see, it wasn't even close, but when I did the blues that were a little bit closer, it blended much better. So blending, not half bad. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, compare this actually because I do have a Prisma and I do have a one of these. These are pretty close. And you can see from the barrels and stuff as I explained earlier that they're very very similar. So we got this one is the dual tip cheap one. Let's see. And then here's the fine tip. And now the Prisma color. Now this is a much darker color despite the fact that the caps look the same. Now one thing I do notice is that it seems like the Prisma color might be a little bit, little bit more solid. Um, as far as the nibs go, I don't know how these are gonna last, to be honest. But you know, I mean, this is render no show paper. So but sometimes, you know, if you lay down ink heavy enough, it's going to show through. So they're not bad. And the smell is about the same as Prismacolor markers. So yeah, they're pretty comparable. Granted, there's only 12 colors. That was the only set I saw and it was the last one. So, but for a cheap marker, it's not bad, but let's see how it does in practice. I may have to substitute some Copics in there, especially for the skin of the picture that I'm going to do, but let's see how it does. Overall, the experience coloring with these was not half bad. They were smooth and the few places that I used them to blend, like on the leaf, were surprisingly uh, buttery smooth. I didn't have any odd sharp spots or anything like that. They blended really, really well with my Copic markers, which again was a surprise. 
Uh, the paper I'm using is the Render No Show paper. I'm not a huge fan of this one for lighter colors because they kind of show up weird before the colors finally develop properly. So it depends on what kind of paper, but either way, it worked really well with this type of marker paper. It did not bleed badly. It didn't bleed into other colors badly. I mean, I was really, really surprised at the ease of use with these. So for a budget marker, it's definitely performing very, very well.